In this video, I want to bring your attention to the Australian dollar. Now, the Australian dollar, as you can see, has had a nice big rally here on the daily chart uh, up starting in December going into February. But then the market started to fall. It made its nice retracement in here. If we come in with our Fibonacci ruler and we draw that in there, you can see very quickly this market came back to the 51 and then right back down to the 61.8% level. Now, it's a very common for markets to go sideways after that occurs. market has a nice rally. Uh, it, it rallies from the, from the bottom of the trend all the way up to the top of the trend and then retraces back down into the 50% or the, what I like to call the Fibonacci sweet spot between 38.2 and 61.8. Once the market gets back into that region, it really doesn't have any strong uh, fundamental reason to go bullish or bearish. Both the bulls and bears are kind of um, fighting each other and trying to get some traction, trying to decide which direction the market goes. And this is a very common phenomena in the market. So you're going to want to watch for this when you have a nice run, a retracement. The market will oftentimes just go sideways because it doesn't know whether to go bullish or bearish at this point. It's fulfilled its trend, and now we're looking for some kind of a new trend. We need some kind of a fundamental reason or or decision to push this market higher or lower. So you're going to watch and watch the news and see if we can't figure out some fundamental reason why this market might move one direction or the other to push it out of this Fibonacci sweet spot. Once we get down into this region, though, uh, taking longer-term trades is difficult as you go through this time frame. You're not going to be able to catch a long-term move in this market, obviously. So we need to come down to smaller time frames. If you come down to the four-hour chart, you can see the four-hour chart. You can start to see a little bit of a trend action in here, even though it's still a little bit sideways. Some of these trends are worth uh, trying to catch in here. You can see that's a $2,800 move uh, on on uh, the Aussie dollar there. You see we've got a couple other small moves in here uh, that are that are worth going after $666. But if we come down to the two hour time frame, you can see that the, the risk versus reward ratio starts to increase your risk. Um, you can reduce the amount of money that you're risking for the reward potential. So here's another uh, setup right here, $1,350. With a small risk, you can see the small risk be back behind the area, area of support or resistance. Of course, these numbers don't represent commissions and fees. And then if we come in here, we drop down to the next time frame. Here's a 15-minute chart. And you see we start to smooth out a little bit down here on the smaller time frames. And the smaller time frames, you start to see a little bit better trending. You can have they're smaller. They're not nearly as much money, but they're easier to catch. You can see in here there's a $300 move. And then you come in in this just the kind of the, the nice, narrow, sideways channel. Uh, of course, and then the market breaks out of that channel and starts to fall. And then this market comes down here with a nice little $800 uh, dollar move. Again, doesn't represent commissions and fees. But nonetheless, uh, these markets on a smaller time frame uh, are still trending and can be traded. So if we come down here, that's a $600 move. If we come down to the range 6, which is even smaller, you can see out here, uh, this is a multi-day trend or multi-day move, as you see in here on the Aussie dollar. That's a $670 move with a very small risk versus reward ratio, putting our stop back behind the area of resistance. Very small uh, risk for the large potential reward. Again, here's that same trend coming down off of that uh, uh, that uh, previous look that we looked at on the 15 minute chart. So there's a sideways channel. You can see it's very nice and clean. Here's our arrow from the bulls and bears. So just from arrow to arrow, that's an $1,100 move in the Australian dollar over a two day period of time. We have a little bit of a a retracement, a pullback, a counter trend, and then another rally uh, down uh, into today's market. So as you can see, as these markets out here on the daily chart are going sideways and not giving us much uh, much of a trend, there's still some actions, there's still some activity, and we come down to the smaller time frame charts, even all the way down to the range bar 6 chart, and you can see that there are some opportunities to be had trading these markets. Hi, my name is Lan Turner, founder of TradeMentors.com. Please subscribe to our day trading channel and make sure to click the bell so you get notified when we post new current market videos and trade recommendations. I've also linked a couple of my favorite videos here, so please enjoy the next video.